Today we're going to talk about how to download apps. But before I get into the step-by-step -step process, I do want to talk about what an app is and define that. So an app is software. And the term app is just short for software application. And apps are typically run on a tablet device or a smartphone. And they're a way of getting things done quickly and effectively and very inexpensively. You purchase and download apps using either the App Store, if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, or if you're on an Android device, you would use the Google Play app to download apps. Next, I want to show you uh, a a quick video that does a really good job of explaining apps in a little bit more detail. The chances are you've been using apps for years. Your home or work computer has apps like a spreadsheet program, calculator, or photo editor. Recently, these apps or applications evolved in a big way. Let's start with platforms. You know, a place to put things. A table, in a basic sense, is a platform. You plug in some plates, cups, and flatware, and it turns into a great place to eat. Computers work the same way. They create platforms for software applications. A spreadsheet and an accounting app can turn a computer into a business tool. Music and video apps can make a computer a studio. For most of their history, apps have seemed big and expensive. We often bought them at a store and loaded them onto a computer with a disk. And most of these apps didn't connect to the internet. Recently, platforms changed in big ways. Our mobile phones and tablets became useful platforms just like our computers, and this enabled a different kind of app. Instead of big, expensive programs, many apps became smaller and cheaper. Instead of coming in a box or taking hours to download, they could be purchased or downloaded for free from the internet with a click, even on the go. This made apps collectible. For little investment, we could collect apps on our devices that reflect our needs and interests. One person's collection may focus on gaming, another business, or both. Now apps may wake you up in the morning, give you a snapshot of the news, play the music you like, help you get to the airport, check you in, and help you read your new book all from the palm of your hand. To support all these new apps, we need online marketplaces that make them easy to purchase and download. This way, small teams and large organizations have a way to market, give away, or sell thousands of new apps. And these new apps have another advantage. Many are built to work with the internet. This means they can back up your work, play your music, or connect you with friends wherever you are without opening a web browser. But it's not just phones and tablets. Computers, browsers, social networks, and gaming systems have all become platforms for a new generation of apps. So apps aren't really new. What have changed are platforms and marketplaces that make them easy to purchase and collect for whatever you need to do. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the Apple iPhone on the left side. On the right side, we have kind of your typical Android device. On the iPhone, we have the App Store. On the Android device, we have the Google Play Store. These are the two different apps you use to download, search for, and purchase apps on your particular device. When you tap on those apps, they will bring up the home screen for the app stores, either for the iPhone or for the Android. And both have a search section where you can tap your finger and search for the name of a particular app or a category for the app that you're looking for. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step basics of how to download an app on the iPhone. 